Hello. I think, yeah, that looks pretty good. Hope you guys are doing well tonight. We are gonna do some yoga. Um, if you guys have any issues with volume, I can close the window. I have my window open in here tonight, and I was a little bit concerned that the cars are going to be loud, but we'll see how that goes. We are going to focus on dancer pose tonight and some related back bends. If you have a block or yoga blocks available, you can use those if you want to have them handy, but you won't need them. Um, if you have a yoga strap too, actually, we could potentially use that. You could substitute like a dish towel or a exercise band or anything similar. Um, and we're going to get started in fish pose. If you have blocks, you could also use a pillow to approximate this pose. I'll show you and we can, we can play around with that. Um, if you have one block, you will put it either on its lowest height or on the second height between your shoulder blades. If you have two blocks, you can set up the second one as a pillow for your head. If you just have a pillow, you can use that to elevate your shoulder blades and upper back a little bit. Our goal with this posture is to begin to extend the thoracic spine, which is what's happening right here as my chest lifts towards the ceiling. and my hips stay on the floor, so that's gonna be key. If you can't keep your hips on the floor, try scooting the block closer to your head or lowering it. And then I'm gonna have you bring your arms out to the side into a goalpost shape. You can do whatever you like with your legs. You can bring the soles of your feet together and let your knees fall open. You can plant your feet wide and let the knees drop in. You could extend your legs to straight. This might not feel totally comfortable, but it shouldn't feel painful. So if you are experiencing any pain, adjust, play around with the details. Let's take 10 deep breaths. Off to one side. You need to remove your props. Make your way into a cross legged seat with your right ankle in front of your left. Let's inhale and sweep arms overhead. And exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Inhale, interlace your fingers and press your palms up. Lift sternum towards the ceiling. And then exhale, palms forward as you round your upper back and tuck your chin. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, round forward. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, round forward. Let's bring hands down to the ground onto your mat and walk out into a fold. As your hips sit back, your upper body extends forward. This might be a very little fold or you might be able to come down towards the floor. Mm -hmm. 
Let's walk hands over to the right. Rotate your chest towards your right knee. And then walk hands over to the left. Chest rotates towards left knee. And then we'll come back to center and sit up. Extend your right leg out. You can use your hands on the floor or reaching forward for assistance. We're going to lift up onto the legs into like a bridge pose shape. My core is engaged and I'm coming into hip extension. So a neutral pelvis, glutes engaged, core engaged. And then I'm just going to hinge at the hips to sit back with control. Let's do that twice more on this side. Last one. And then we'll just step the right foot to the outside of the left knee and twist off to the right and to the left. And then come back through center and we're going to switch out the crossing of the legs so that the left ankle is in front now. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, interlace fingers, press palms up. And exhale, round, palms forward, rib cage back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Bring your hands down and fold. Walk off to the right and to the left. And then we'll sit up and extend the left leg out. Hinge forward, come up onto the legs and hinge back to sit down with control. And then step left foot around the outside of right knee and twist to your left. Use your hands to assist, your arms to assist. And twist to the right. And then we'll come back to your center and around into table pose. Tuck your toes under and take this into downward facing dog. Take a few moments to wake up into the posture. Check out how your feet and ankles are feeling today. And let's walk feet up to hands. Bring your feet wide. Interlace your hands and rest them at the base of your head. Let your upper body hang towards the floor. And then unroll all the way to stand, vertebrae stack one at a time. Let's step feet into hips with distance apart. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. Exhale, drop your left arm, reach your right arm up and over into a side bend. Rib cage juts off to the right. Inhale through center. Exhale, right arm drops, left arm reaches up and over. Inhale, center. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, listen carefully. Right foot steps back. Right knee comes down. Arms reach up and palms touch overhead. And then on the exhale, hands come down to frame the left foot. 
And we press all the way back to an open hip in down dog. And then from the open hip, bring your left knee down underneath you and reach your left arm forward and your right leg back. Exhale, lean elbow together. Inhale, reach. Exhale, draw in. Inhale, reach. Exhale, draw in. From here, extend right leg back, plant your left hand. We're gonna pivot open so that we are supported by the left hand and the left shin. Right knee hugs into chest. Take a hold of your right ankle with your right hand and kick the foot back. And then release your right leg, extend out all the way up and over towards a modified triangle kind of shape. And then you're gonna to pivot towards your right leg towards the back of your mat. And you're in half splits over your right leg. Let's sink into a lunge and lift the back knee. And then lower the back knee and take half splits again. Forward into the lunge, back knee lifts. And shift back. One more time, forward. And back. Plant your hands, send your right foot back, and we'll move through a vinyasa. Take three push-ups. These can be full body push-ups or knee push-ups. And then you can go ahead and find cobra or upward facing dog. And then shift it back to down dog. Let's step or hop feet to hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, stand tall, reach up. And then exhale, right hand drops, left arm reaches up and over. Inhale, center. Exhale, left arm drops, right arm reaches. Inhale, center. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, left foot steps way back, left knee comes down, arms reach overhead, palms touch. Exhale, hands frame right foot. Whoop, all the way back to an open hip and down dog. And then bring your right knee, your right shin down underneath you. Lift your left leg and your left, or I'm sorry, uh, your left leg and your right arm. Squeeze in, inhale, reach, exhale, draw it in, inhale, reach, and exhale, draw it in. Send your left leg back, plant your right hand, bring your left hand to your left ankle, kick open, roll your left shoulder to stack over your right. And then release your left leg, extend it towards the top of the mat. And cartwheel up and over, right arm reaches towards left foot. And then we'll pivot, we're back facing the front of the mat, left leg extended out in front of you. Walk into a lunge and lift your back knee to exaggerate the stretch in the right quads. And then take it back to half splits. Let's do that a couple more times. We're going to come forward and move through a vinyasa with three push ups at the outset. Cobra or up dog. Hands down dog. Step or hop feet to hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, stand tall, reach up. Exhale, hands to your heart. We're going to do that same sequence again, but I'm going to throw in a few options to make it more challenging if you'd like. 
Let's inhale and reach arms up. Exhale, left arm drops. Right arm reaches up and over. If you like, you can try to hover the left foot just an inch or less away from the mat. Work balance a little bit more. Inhale through center. Exhale, right arm drops. Maybe right foot hovers. Inhale, center. Exhale, fold. Inhale, we're gonna go ahead and step the right foot back, bring the right knee down, and reach the arms up. And then exhale, hands frame the left leg to an open hip with the left leg or to flip dog if you like. If you're in flip dog, see if you can set your left shin down without using your left hand for help. And then from wherever you're at, left arm reaches forward, right leg back. Squeeze knee and elbow in. Reach, draw in, and reach. Draw in, reach. Let's bring left hand down. Pivot the left shin, right hand to right ankle, and kick back. Maybe you flip to hold on to the big toe edge of your foot and get a more intense shoulder stretch. And then we'll release the right foot up and over. And then around towards half splits. If you'd like, you can tuck your back toes under and hover your back knee in half splits. And then from there, you'll just press through to a lunge and then shift back to half splits, left knee floating above the mat. Let's do that for another round. And then we'll sweep through to a vinyasa, option to hover the right foot through your three push-ups if you like. And then into back bend of choice. And into down dog. Step or hop feet to hands. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, stand tall. And then exhale, we're gonna drop the right arm. Reach left arm up and over, maybe right foot hovers. Inhale, center. Exhale, left arm drops. Right arm reaches up and over. Maybe that left foot is hovering. Inhale, center. Exhale, fold. Inhale, left foot back, left knee down. Reach the arms up. And exhale, three-legged dog with an open hip or flip dog with the right foot, the right toes landing softly behind you. Hips bridge up. Let's bring the right shin down underneath maybe without the right hand touching down, and then the left leg can lift, you're in spinal balance. Knee and elbow hug in, and reach. Hug in, and reach. One more round. Right hand down, right shin open, left knee to chest, and kick the leg through. Opportunity to explore an underhand grip with the left le or the le left hand if you like. And then we're gonna release the left leg and come up and over. And then pivot towards the top of the mat. Option to tuck your right toes under and hover your right knee throughout. And then forward into a lunge. And back. Forward. And back. One more round. And then we'll sweep through to plank. Into three push ups. And 
in through your vinyasa. Step or hop, feet to hands. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, stand tall, reach up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Rotate your palms forward. Close your eyes, settle into your feet. We'll take five breaths in mountain pose before we proceed to the next segment of class. Leave your eyes open. If you have a block, it can be nice for this next movement. You can also use the seat of a chair or any surface that's about as high as somewhere between a chair and a yoga block on the chest height. You'll stand at the top of your mat. Inhale, arms reach overhead. And then exhale, we're gonna keep the right arm up. Sweep the left hand around and bring the left hand to the left ankle. And then thinking about hinging at the hip and bending the standing knee, you're gonna tap your left knee down towards the block or to a chair. You don't need something to aim for, but it is nice. You might be strong enough to tap the knee all the way down to the floor. We're gonna do five of these on this side. Try not to let I'm struggling with it here. Try not to let your standing knee collapse inward. Let's do two more. And then you'll just kick your block out of the way. And step your left foot way, way back. Bring hands down to frame the right foot. And set your left knee down. We have a couple of options. We're all gonna go ahead and start with reaching the right arm as far forward as possible. I'm kind of folding to the inside of my right thigh. And then I'm gonna paint a big half circle up and around with my right hand and reach back. Now that could be the whole movement. It's a nice spinal twist. It's good for your chest and shoulders. If you wanna play around with reaching back for the left foot with the right hand, that's also an option. If you need to cushion your left knee, do it. And then if you have the foot, you would release it and we'll reach all the way forward again. Let's do that a couple more times. Up and around, maybe grab the foot. And forward. Last one. And forward. Let's tuck the back toes under and straighten out the right leg. I'm up on my fingertips. My back heel is lifted. I'm folding over my right leg. And then I'm gonna sweep through into crescent lunge. Arms reach overhead. From here, shift your weight into your right foot again. Pull your left knee into your chest. Find standing balance for just a moment, this time with the leg out in front of you and then set the foot down and shake it out. Let's try that out on the other side. Position your block if you're using it, inhale, reach overhead. Exhale, right hand to right ankle. Hinge forward, tap your right knee down and then press through the left heel to stand up again. We're going for five. Then we'll move the block out of the way and step the right foot way back. Right knee down. Left arm reaches forward, fold forward. Sweep up and around and reach back. Maybe catch the right foot. 
and then back into our hip stretch as we fold forward. to frame a left foot back to a set under press through the straight legs you're up on fingertips and then we'll move through into press the lunge arms reach overhead and then forward into standing balance right knee to chest Let's do a second round of that flow. If you want to make your single leg squats harder, you could lower the object that you're working to drop the knee towards. These are already pretty tough as is. Let's inhale, reach arms overhead. And exhale, left hand to left ankle. Maybe you play around with bringing the hand to the inside of the ankle. And we're going for five. Walk out of the way. Let's step the left foot back. Reach the right arm forward. Maybe you can reach a little further forward this time. And then up and open. And even if you can't grab the foot, you could try just touching it. That requires a lot of hamstring engagement. And forward. Up and around. And forward. One more. your back toes under and press the legs towards straight. And then push through the crescent lunge, reach your arms up. You can work on coming into single leg balance, or if you would like to make this a little bit more challenging, this time you can sweep, whoop, you can sweep through into warrior three. Hands come to your heart, left leg lifts, Chest, hips forward. And then we'll release. Bring your block back in. It's going to go behind your right leg. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, right hand to right ankle. Either the inside or the outside of the ankle or the foot. Let's move the block out of the way. And step the right foot back. Right knee down to the mat. Reach your left arm forward, fold to the inside of your left thigh. And circle up and around, reach for the foot. If you do take a hold of it and you're able to hug it in a little bit deeper, you can get a really intense quad stretch that way. Bring hands to frame the left leg and uh, press back towards straight legs. And then up to crescent lunge. And through to either single leg balance or warrior three. And then release and shake it out. 
Inhale, arms reach overhead. Exhale, hands to your heart. Arms by your sides, palms forward, close your eyes. Find Tadasana again, mountain pose. Five rounds of breath. Inhale and reach, arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, plant your hands, step back, move through vinyasa. From downward facing dog, bring your knees down to the mat. And we're going to work on our um, dolphin, not dolphin pose, puppy pose. If you have a block, it can be interesting to put the block on the mat in front of your thighs and to try to keep your thighs touching the block. If you have two, you can even create more contact area. Try to keep your thighs touching the block as you drop your upper body towards the floor. So basically the blocks are helping you keep your thighs vertical rather than sitting back into more of a child's pose shape, which just is gonna make this more intense for your spine and your shoulders. Forehead rests to the mat. Tailbone lifts to the ceiling. You can try flipping your palms towards the ceiling as well if that feels good for the shoulders. into table pose. Reach your right arm forward and your left leg back. And then reach back for your left foot with your right hand and kick the foot into the hand. Do your best to keep your shoulders and your hips relatively level. We'll release, bring your left arm forward and your right leg back, and then swing your arm back to the hold of the foot, and work to kick the foot away from you. It might be just a very small amount. And release the foot. From table pose, step your right foot forward, and come up so that you're in a lunge that consists of a series of right angles. Bring your hands to your pelvis. You'll feel that it's upright. It's not tilting forward or rounding back. From this position, we're just going to tuck the back toes under and hover the back knee about an inch. And you're going to keep your hips in the same shape. Having the right knee bent helps a lot. Interlace your hands at your low back and lift your chest up towards the ceiling. Try to drop your fist back towards your left calf. And then we'll straighten the legs. We'll turn the back heel in and down and fold forward. Lift your fist away from your back. Let the crown of your head hang towards the floor. And then hands come down to frame the right foot. We're going to step back to table pose. 
and bring the left foot forward and come up and establish a nice 90 degree relationship between the legs. Tuck your back toes under, cover your back knee, neutral pelvis, hands interlace, and then as you drop your fist, you're getting all of this really nice work through both the upper back and then certainly the right quads and hip flexors. And release. Find bound pyramid pose. Then let's bring hands down to frame the left foot and step back to child's pose. Take five breaths. And then we'll lift up into down dog. Step or hop feet to hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, stand tall. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, vinyasa. We're going to repeat this shoulder sequence again. So knees will come down to the mat. Maybe you use your block as a gauge of how vertical your thighs are. Walk your upper body forward. Melt your chest towards the floor. is eight rounds of breath in this posture. We have about three more. Make our way back into table pose. Let's send right arm forward and left leg back. Reach your left or your right hand back for your left foot. Maybe you try bringing the hand to the inside of the foot. When I do that, my form starts to get a little bit sloppy. You can always just back off a little bit. And then we'll switch sides. Left arm forward and right leg back. And then reach back. You can Bring either your palm to the big toe side of your foot or the palm to the pinky toe side of the foot. And release. From table, let's bring the right leg through and come up to 90 degree angle legs. Ooh, back toe stuck under, back knee hovers. Hands interlace, and we're keeping our lower body the same as we drop the fist and lift the chest. Keep breathing. And take pyramid pose. Hands come down to frame the right foot. Take it back to the table. 
and bring the left foot forward. Stand up onto the legs. Back toes tuck under, back knee hovers. Find your back bend. It might be very, very subtle. And then straight up pyramid. Hands come down to frame the left foot. We're going to step back into child's pose and take five deep breaths there. And then we're going to work our way through a flow sequence that will include some opportunities to play around with dancer pose. And then we'll cool down. Lift up to downward facing dog. Rock your feet to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, stand all the way up. Reach up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, vinyasa. Send your right leg up and open. And roll towards flip dog. So I'm in flip dog. My right toes are stepped back behind me. I'm going to work to tuck onto the top of my right toes and drop the knee down and then plant into my left foot and come all the way over into a lunge shape. So that's going to look like, let's try that one more time. Rain down dog facing the top of the mat. Right leg steps up and over. Rain down dog. And then we try to work onto the top of the right foot as far back behind as we can. And then press through into a lunge. It's a tough transition. I'm still working on it myself, but I really like it. We're lengthening out the quads and working balance and coordination. From here, we are going to bring the hands down to the mat. We're going to circle the left arm up and around. Catch a hold of the left foot. And then from here, you can stay here. You can stay in lizard lunge with just your hands to the inside of your right foot if grabbing the foot doesn't work very well for you. Or you can play around with trying to stand up onto the left foot while keeping left hand on right foot. That's a tough transition. Try it out if you want to. And then you would try to come back down and into a lunge again. And then from wherever you're at, you're going to position your feet for crescent lunge and stand up into the posture. Let's bend the back knee to lower. And let's interlace the palms and press them overhead. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, we're going to shift to stand on the left foot. Pull the right knee in. And press the palms forward. Inhale, lunge. Exhale, press through to single leg balance. Inhale, lunge. Exhale, press through. Step your foot way back. Bring your hands down and around. And pivot to a wide-legged fold. Let your head hang towards the floor.
And then we're going to pivot towards the top of the mat and come to stand on the right foot. And this is where we'll work on more typical dancer pose. You can bring your left hand to the outside of your left ankle or to the inside. You could also catch a yoga strap or exercise band around your ankle if reaching the foot standing is very challenging. Bring your right arm alongside your ear. Bend into your standing knee a little bit. Start to hinge forward. Start to kick the leg back. Keep breathing. release and shake it up. <sighs> Inhale, reach arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, vinyasa. Gonna send the left leg up and open over behind us in the flip dog and then we're going to work to come on to the top of the left foot the left shin and then press through the back of the mat you're in a lunge with right leg forward from here you can sink into lizard lunge hands can come to the inside of the right foot you can circle your right leg up and around and catch a hold of your left ankle and stay here or maybe from here, you want to play around with working on standing all the way up. This is an advanced skill. And lowering all the way down. And then from there, you're going to come up in the crescent lunge. Hands interlace, palms press up towards the ceiling. And then you'll shift to single leg balance, pull your left knee in and round your upper back. Inhale, lunge. Exhale, press through. Inhale, lunge. Exhale, press through. Press step back to a lunge. I remember what we did here. I think we just went right into a wide leg. Oh. Hands come down to frame the right foot. We'll pivot to our fold. And then take it around towards the top of the mat, towards your left foot. And stand all the way up. Well, let's work on dancers. So left hand is gonna, I'm sorry, right hand is gonna find the right ankle to the outside or the inside. Left arm alongside the ear. Maybe you stay here tonight, maybe you incorporate a strap or a prop. Bend your standing knee, hinge forward from the hips, kick your foot behind you. And release. Let's inhale, reach arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, one more vinyasa. down into child's pose with wide knees and thread your left arm across your chest. Turn your left palm to the ceiling and rest to the left side of your face. And 
angle switch sides. Up. Bring your legs out in front of you and then bend your left knee and bring the sole of the left foot to the inside of the right thigh. We'll fold forward over the right leg from here. You can hold on to your calf or ankle or foot. And we'll sit up and we'll switch legs. Left leg forward, sole of right foot to inside of left thigh, and then fold over your left leg. Sit up and make our way onto our backs. Hug your knees into your chest. Once you get there, give yourself a little rock side to side. And then extend your left leg down the mat. Guide your right leg across. You can bring your right arm into a bowl post shape or out to a T. You can turn and look to the right as well. center and switch sides. Extend right leg down the mat and guide your left leg across. Left arm to a goal post or out to a T. Chin towards the left shoulder. Come back through center and find happy baby pose. And then you can set up Shavasana how you like. I'm going to take Legs up the wall pose as much as And Let's stay here quietly for three minutes. Close your eyes, let your breath settle. 
trying to just be without either the distractions of work or entertainment. Hug your knees into your chest and rock over to one side in your Shavasana. Rest your head on your arms and take three deep breaths. Press yourself up into a cross-legged seat and rest your hands on your knees. Settle your shoulders away from your ears. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And an open mouth exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. over your heart and thank yourself for showing up for movement and for working to take care of yourself today. I hope that you have a great night and I hope to have you in class again soon and hopefully in person sooner than later. Thank you so much guys. If you have any feedback, feel free to comment or yeah, wow. I'm ready for eyebrow places to reopen so I can do my eyebrows. <laughs> I'll see you guys. Have a good night.